What is up, Maniacs? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And today, we're going to be hopping into Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel, and I will be using one of my new Kashdera Eldritch decks. Basically, you could put Kashdera in a lot of things, and I did put a community post up letting me know what y'all want to see. I'll probably try Brave Engine in that Kashdera deck soon. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments below. But I was talking to somebody on the uh, comments section for the Kashdera post, and they let me know about Eldritch, and you could run Eldritch with it. And honestly, I appreciate it. I forget your name. I'm sorry. But let me know in the comments below. You basically made me build this thing, and it's honestly insane. So make sure to stick around and watch how this is, and I'll show off the deck list at the end of the video. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what other cash tiras are you guys using with um, the cash tiras. Okay. I mean, what other cards are you using with cash tiras? Because honestly, the possibilities are endless and cash tiras is not at its full power. So you can't just run full cash tira. But nonetheless, let's hop right into it. Alrighty, for the first match, we have a freaking banger of a first match. Honestly, this one went super, super crazy. Okay, we're going to start off with Cash Tier Birth. And we're going up against Labyrinths. Okay, very interesting. Alrighty, they're going to use Back Jack. It is all good. Okay, evenly matched. That I don't want to see. And I don't necessarily have a way to get rid of it currently, but... They are getting more cards. Okay, Fenrir. Get the Rise Heart. Alrighty. Get the Rise Heart on the board. Get the Unicorn out. And I kind of misplayed there. I did play the Ash. I was trying to get Baron. But I messed up. Okay, we'll get the Ira. Get the Unicorn with the Birth. Beautiful. Alrighty. So, we know we're going to use Ira's Effect. Welcome, Labyrinth. Okay. They are going to get a lovely Labyrinth here. Which is fine. We're going to get the Ogre. They're going to use li lovely Labyrinth effect. We're going to use Summoning Limit here. So, just in case they want to get a little cheeky. They don't. We're going to use Unicorn's effect and Ogre's effect. This game is crazy. We locked down the opponent pretty good here. Okay, we're going to banish Underworld. Okay. We're going to lock down some zones here. We're going to lock down two of the zones. Okay, they get my Ogre, which is fine. Evenly matched. That's fine. I got rid of that. Wasn't extremely necessary. Oh, guess it. Oh, they got rid of the Unicorn. They're such a bot. And Dragon Prison, okay. Okay, okay. Very interesting, very interesting. Now that some of them is gone. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So I got those blocked off, but it's all good. Okay, got the Ariana and the lovely Labyrinth and the Chandelier. Okay, we're gonna save our Shangri-Ira. I believe that's how you say that. Shangri-Ira. Okay, they get the Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Alrighty. Get the Ogre. Use Birth. Get the Unicorn. Use Unicorn's effect. Get another Birth. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our Baron here. Lost wins. We're just going to negate it. Okay, we're going to use Baron's effect to pop a lovely Labyrinth. We're just going to enter battle here. Banish it. Okay, we're going to get another zone lock here. Attack him straight to the face. Then we're going to set Kashtira preparations. Okay. Shangri-Ira. And we're going to use preparations as well. 
Get the ogre. And get the fan rear. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit of lava. Beautiful, beautiful. Lock down. Ooh, we just need one more lock to zone them out. Welcome, Labyrinth. No! Ring of Destruction. Okay. He's going to take out my Baron. Which is fine. Okay. We're going to save it again. Ariana. Welcome, Labyrinth. Okay. Okay. Lady Labyrinth. Very interesting. Use Fenrir's effect, Unicorn's effect as well. With the Ogre right now. We're trying to zone lock him right now. We're also using preparations. Okay, get that out of here. We're gonna lock one. We're gonna get that out of there. And also we're gonna get Nightmare Phoenix, so that goes out. We're gonna zone lock that. And then start zone locking the back row as well. Which is kind of weird when you are zone locking. It doesn't show you, like, you can pick a, a zone twice, I believe. I haven't tried it, but I was like, okay. Remember which ones you locked out. Boom. Look at that zone lock right there. Beautiful. Get the unicorn out. Birth. Get the rise heart. We're just being cheeky here. Very unnecessary. Okay. Zone it out. Boom. Get the fan rear. Get the unicorn. We're just going to enter battle. Finish it with the unicorn. But honestly, that freaking game was insane. I never got so many zone outs. It was pretty awesome. So, let's hop right in to the next match. And for our second match, we're actually going first yet again. Very interesting hand here. Not the greatest, to be honest. But we're going to special summon the unicorn. Use unicorn's effect. Get birth. Play birth, even though we don't really need to. So, we're just going to set our other traps and pass turn. Mystic Tomato. Very interesting. We're going to use Dogmatic of Punishment and also pop that back row. Nice. Ooh, Reflective Metal Slime. Okay. Another Unicorn. Okay. Get another Birth. Then use Birth's effect to summon. And we're just going to go ahead and attack. Which is dumb. I should have freaking banished another one. But it's all good. It's all good. Alrighty. Foolish burial. And they surrender. They figured out. They couldn't do crap. Honestly, this deck makes people surrender so much. It's insane. So, let's hop right into the next match. And for the third match, we actually get to go first yet again. Very interesting hand. So what we're going to do is special summon Unicorn. Use Unicorn's effect. Get Birth. It's nice to have this extra one in hand. Play Birth. And normal summon Ash. We're going to get our Baron here. Then use Birth's effect to get the Unicorn back. Set Guardian of the Golden Land and pass turn. Dark Magician Circle. We're going to Ash that. Okay, once that's ashed, we're chilling. They surrender. <laughs> that's it. That's all it took. Just an ash. They are pissed, and I guess they saw the board, and they're like, I don't want to deal with that. Insane. Let's hop right into the next match. And for our fourth match, we are going to be going first. And we finally get to see an Eldritch. I'm going to summon Rise Heart. And just like that, they surrender? Honestly, I had a freaking insane hand, and I would have freaking destroyed him. Either way. So, let's hop right in to the last match. And for our last match, we are going to be going first. Alrighty. Very weird hand, but it is what it is. We're just going to play everything. Get the birth out there. Very weird. We don't necessarily have anything too great. Dictator of D. Okay. We're going to summon limit for sure. Summon limit, and we're going to get preparations out. Once we do that, they're going to summon Dictator of D. They're going to pitch that and special summon 
a blue eyes. And of course, we have the dog medical punishment for them. Get that, get the intest, and pop the blue eyes white drug on. So basically, we just took care of that board. Very easy. Otherwise, we would have been screwed because we had no monsters. Another conquistador. Very cool, but guess what? I don't have an Eldritch. Monster reborn. Okay, see, now I can't do anything about this. Alrighty, they get their blue eyes. Enter battle. We're going to get a conquistador and just set it. Because we're trying to hold on to our life points. Oh, right. Oh, oh, dimensional barrier. Okay. Very unfortunate. We're going to banish that to get our Elixir finally. Okay, the Melody Awakens. Awakening Dragon. Melody of Awakening Dragon. <laughs> Learn how to read. Okay, let's go. They're going to show us the Blue Eyes, the Special Summon. The Alternative Dragon. We're going to get the Conquistador and the Eldlixer here. We're going to get that Eldlich finally. Set in defense mode. Get the Conquistador. Pop the Blue Eyes. Regeki. That sucks. Okay. We're going to take 3,000 damage there. That kind of hurt. We need a monster bat. At this point, we need a monster. Oh, the unicorn. Finally. Okay. Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine. Get the Guardian. Special Summon Unicorn. Get the Birth. Use Eldritch in the graveyard. Okay. Special Summon. Very nice. Get the Birth again and we're just gonna go ahead and enter battle unicorn start banishing any random one i don't think it mattered Alrighty, now we have a pretty good board here get conquistador get another elixir here all right let's see if our opponent has what they need oh i got kaijun okay very interesting very interesting. I guess they decided they did not want the smoke and they didn't want to get whooped. Honestly, insane. So let's hop right into the deck list. And for the deck list, we're going to be running three Ash, uh, two Ghost Spells, one Cash Terror Rise Heart, two Cash Terror Fenrir, three Cash Terror Unicorn, three Cash Terror Ogres, three Eldritch of Eldritch the Golden Lord. I don't know why. I brain farted there and of course i got one alt alternate art beautiful i would love to have three but i can't do that all righty one elixir black awakening three cash tier birth two dimensional barriers three elixir of scarlet sanguine three dogmatic punishments one skill drain three summon limit two guardian of the golden land two walker of the golden land and two conquistador of the golden land one cash era preparation and for the extra deck we got three entis two barons two soul sword supreme sovereign chingy one chaos angel i don't know if this works but i threw it in there just to try it out if you guys let me know if it does work if it will work with this deck if it doesn't let me know and i'll take that out but we got one number 11 big eye one number 89 uh mind hacker Two Sangriera, Sangriiras, uh, one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max, one Sky Palace, and one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Libre. Honestly, this deck's super fun. I'm going to keep using it, and hopefully I can climb the ranks and hopefully get some more gameplay. If you guys would like to try it, there's a deck list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you guys want me to check out a different cash Dira deck let me know join the discord send me some builds and i will definitely try them out but i hope you enjoy and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers but i'll catch everybody in the next one peace